Hey guys, we're back with another video. We've had a few weeks off, haven't we? Like a month? Yeah, it's almost a month now. I don't know quite what happened. That just disappeared. I started a new job. That, yeah. I do most of the filming and editing because I, I, I was on maternity leave most of the time and I think it just kind of worked out that way. But yeah, we're going to have to like split it up a little bit now because I'm back at work full time. I've started a new job, so I've just taken like a month to sort of set I think it will work better because I won't get so frustrated. So we had an old computer. And now we've invested and got a new yes. one, so I will probably be more patient with it because was previously I was like almost completed with one of my videos, and it was just like Meg was going to do the final touch up, edit, and check for me, and then it just completely wiped it. So I she was it. a very old lady, but she, she was. Um, yeah. Anyway, totally off topic. We're back with another video, and today it is a wedding one. Um, we have got our cake samples from the lovely lady who is doing our cake. Yeah, so you, it comes in this lovely box. Yes, we're gonna try. Sorry for all the stick appeals we took all of our addresses off. Yeah, obviously. But yeah, we've got her logo up here. Her um, name is Anna Lewis. Um, she's based in Surrey. And yeah, her cakes are amazing. Go and check her out on Instagram. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll put link. a link below. Um, it's really good. It I have really nice. opened this once before just to like. So Meg sent me because I've just been away for work. So Meg um, sent me a load of pictures of it because we were quite excited, and it was sent to us while I was away. So um, she was like, "This has arrived." I was yeah. Like, oh, amazing. So she's presented this beautifully. Um, she's got a little with compliment slip, uh, pictures of her work, and a little business card on here. Yeah, it's really nice. Like. We'll put some close ups in. Yeah, we'll so you can nice see. Um, yeah, I'll try and hold this up. So. I'll take those. She sent some Fortnum and Mason wedding breakfast teas to have with it, so that's really nice. So these are the selection that we've. we So you get. A, sorry. We got a menu choice to pick from the different cakes that she was offering for this particular uh, testing box. Um, so we went through and selected them. Six. six, six um, and then she added an extra seventh one that wasn't on the list, but I'm really glad she did it because it's white chocolate and passion fruit and that sounds... Oh, was that the one she added? Yes. Ah. I'm so happy with that. Mm, okay. So yeah, so this is the tea. reason why we have tea well, we got things. all of this thing out. We're using a gravy jug for our... Um, Please don't judge us, we don't have a teapot. Yeah, mind your business. <laughs> we don't have a teapot. <laughs> I wanted a teapot and then I was like, oh yeah, we don't have one, so we didn't use one. Whatever. So. It's prettier than a kettle, it matches our weights, it's fine. Yeah. So, we're just going to make our tea and we're going to sample these cakes. We're and... going to need it for a three minute boo time. Oh. Mm. How fancy. And then I'm going to ruin it by putting a bunch of sugar and milk in because I'm, I'm not a huge tea person, but, you know. When in Rome, or when in the UK. I might need to go get you some more hot water. Yeah. Our cups are huge. <laughs> <laughs> we do have very large <laughs> cups. These cups um, we got while we were in Australia and managed to get them back unbroken. So a little bit of backstory to it. These cups are handmade by Meg's uncle. My uncle and my cousin. Yeah, and there's a company um, called Clay on Beach. Yeah, They're Clay on Beach. Amazing. We'll link them as well. They yeah. do... If you're in Australia, like the most beautiful they might ship handmade, I don't know. I don't want to say they that might. just in case because their pieces can be quite delicate. But yeah. we have so far managed to get a few bits mm. um, back over. The flavours that we have chosen are white chocolate crunch, chocolate and hazelnut, white chocolate and raspberry, orange and passion fruit, Sicilian lemon, coconut and lime. And then she added the white chocolate and passion fruit, which... We are very happy with yes, that. definitely. Definitely. So you see, when um, we had our first consultation, which was over Zoom, yes. um, she was like asking us different questions. She will put some pictures in of some of the designs that she came up for our wedding cake. Um, so we haven't selected any of them yet, so we don't mind. Like She sharing. does the most beautiful yeah. illustrations. And yeah. yeah. It's definitely something that we need to share. Do you want to start with coconut and lime? Yeah, why not? I feel like... I don't know, I feel like this might be my least favorite, although orange and passion fruit maybe, I don't know, this might surprise me. But we're going to write down our sort of thoughts and then what we're going to do is not show each other, we're going to write down our top three um, and then share that at the end and see if we have the same. Why can I not get into this? It still feels really moist. We have had this for a couple of days um, because Will was away and yeah. So yeah, I've been um, 
away with my company, getting one of our vessels back into service. Um, so that's been quite nice. I don't want to squish this, but how in the world? She's wrapped that so beautifully. Oh my gosh, don't. <laughs> I'm so nervous. It's got to have an edge. Do it where? Hang on, it's okay, it's sliding up. It's going to fall. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Right. Pop it on there. Mm. It's like a bounty bar. Really? I'm not getting that. I'm getting the lime. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Coconut and lime. It's very nice. It's really light. Yeah, really summery, which is like mm. our vibe for our wedding. Perfect. Yeah. My dad will love this. Mm. That's what Sarah said. It's very nice. Ooh, that's really nice. I might need extra sugar because I'm not gonna. Mm. Put two sugars in, it should be okay. Be all right. Are we using our measuring cups? We Maybe. are. <laughs> Again, <laughs> mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get we need to get some like afternoon tea at, at apparel. I might next go to London. Oh, okay. No, no, I don't need more sugar. That's really good. Mm, it's really nice. Yeah, if it's too sweet, then this is too much. Orange and passion fruit next. This is the orange and passion fruit one. Yes. It smells amazing. It, it looks really, really nice. Um, yeah. It's beautiful. It's a little bit denser. Was this the one that was quite heavy? Or was mm. that? This one's quite heavy too. It looks like a Vicky sponge one, but it's not. It's the white chocolate one. Yeah. But anyway, orange and passion fruit. Delicious. Mm. I get the orange quite strong. Yeah. The buttercream in it is really not like light. Mm. I like that about it. Also, the tea is perfect to cut through the sweetness. Yeah. The next one we're going to look at is the white chocolate raspberry. Uh, again, it looks really nicely presented. Uh, I like the colours in it, which because of the layers of like the, the white chocolate. And then the raspberry jam. It looks really nice. And there's raspberry going throughout the cake as well. Um, and again, it looks really moist. Yeah, considering it, we have had it for a couple of days. Yeah. I think it must be the way that she's wrapped them up because it's been nice, like, well wrapped. Yeah. Like, the air hasn't got to it and dried them out. Definitely denser. Hmm. It's the white chocolate in the cake. Mm. You can taste the white chocolate in the cake. It's actually really nice. Mm. I'm not as keen. I don't like it as much as the others. It's still really nice, but yeah, it is definitely denser. Right, this one, it says chocolate and hazelnut, was it? Chocolate and hazelnut. Chocolate and hazelnut. On her list, it said dark chocolate with caramel and hazelnut. So I believe it's got some caramel in it as well. Mm. That move it. See, it's not sickly. It does cut through the other ones. Mm. Told you. Well, they're not that dense, it's fudgy. Mm, I really like this one. Mm. This was like a wild card one that I picked because Will is normally like, oh, I don't like dark chocolate. But in a cake, dark chocolate is arguably better than normal chocolate because it's not as sickly sweet. So when you pair it with the icing, it sort of balances each other out. I really like it. Mm, it's nice. Mm. 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 That caramel buttercream. Mm. That tastes like a salted caramel. That's really nice. That is 
It's good. It's really nice. I feel a bit sick now though. This is a... I know, same. Not gonna lie. I have three more to go. Such We're more than halfway there. Such a high life that we need. Oh my gosh. I'm getting a sugar headache. Okay. Which one next? White, white chocolate crunch. Cool. Right, so the white chocolate crunch is an Oreo, white chocolate and Oreo one. Yeah. And she's baked it. It's not just in the buttercream, she's baked it in like the Oreo biscuit into the actual cake. Oh my gosh, that's sickly. She's dense. Mm. Not as dense as the no. white chocolate raspberry. Anything with white chocolate though is going to be dense. Anything that you put chocolate into a cake, mm. it's not that like light fluffy sponge anymore. It's more like, you know, it's still really like nice. a mud cake. It's very nice. It's really light considering it's got chocolate and biscuit mm. in it. Mm. It's definitely nothing as dense as the other one. Uh, this one that we're now trying is the one that Anna put in for us, um, which is the white chocolate and passion fruit one. Um, we're quite excited for this one, to be fair. Yes. Um, because excited. the sound of it sounds amazing. So yeah, yeah. We'll get into it. Mm, it was good. I need to try it with the icing. Mm. The icing is delicious. It's like a white chocolate cake with passion fruit icing. I think it's got passion fruit in the cake as well. Does it? Mm. Yeah, it must do, because it tastes... It's really nice. Mm. I think this one, if we, if we had eaten this on the day that it came, mm. I think would have been incredible. Mm. That is our fault. Um, we're not doing it the justice it deserves by having it a few days later, but for obvious reasons, I didn't want to do this without Will, so... She did try. <laughs> I didn't. She did. So we've left this one for last on purpose because we both really like lemon cake. The Sicilian lemon curd cake. Yes, so it's got buttercream, lemon curd, cake, all of the good things. We have high hopes for this. Mm. Mm. Immediately, yes. Mm. <laughs> I actually feel incredibly sick now. Mm. But that is delicious. We think we're going to have three tier cake. It might be two. We're still deciding between two. So if we choose three, then we can just rule out whatever one we are not like 100% with. So our top three. Yeah. Your third one. We're so, going to go from like least favourite of the favourites to, yeah. to the, the best of the best. Okay, so I'll go first. Mm -hmm. So mine... My, I have two. I don't have one, if I can pick. Two for number three. Yeah, so I they both scored six out of ten for me. Um, um, that's white chocolate and passion fruit and coconut and lime. Same, white chocolate and passion fruit and coconut and lime. And for me, I scored them both seven out of ten. Oh, you? I see, I was a bit more harsh, more critical, I suppose. I thought it was six out of ten. But then all of my score, none of them got ten out of ten. Oh, mine did. Did they? <laughs> Yeah. The only one that got close was a 9 out of 10. Oh, you're really harsh. I am a harsh critic. I don't know why. What's your number two? Number two is chocolate and hazelnut. Same, chocolate and hazelnut. And your number one, I, I can guarantee I know what this is. Go on. Lemon. Yes. Yeah, Sicilian lemon. So I think we've got it. Like, I, we need to choose if we have a third... Tia, we need to choose between the white chocolate, passion fruit, and coconut and lime. It was difficult though. I almost put. It was only because I wanted the Sicilian as my top tier, mm -hmm. and I didn't know if it would go if I have a Sicilian and lemon and then the coconut and lime. Why not? And also, you're not eating them together. They separate them to cut them up. 
Yeah, you might not be able to get over. <laughs> Bring me a pile of cake. <laughs> <laughs> what of everything? Okay. So which one, if you had to choose right now, which one between white chocolate and passion fruit and coconut and lime would you I, choose? I prefer the coconut and lime. Really? Mm. Ooh. I put white chocolate and passion fruit first and then alternative coconut and lime. But I think, I think coconut and lime maybe, yeah. I did write it in the same order as you, all the coconut, but then I was taking back on how the denseness of the cake and all that kind of thing. But I, I think and that most of that is because we've left them for a couple of days. Do Yeah, I do think that, but... I don't know. Um, I do I find do like white it. chocolate more sickly. True, and I do like the summery vibe yeah. of the coconut. Yeah. Okay. Let's go coconut lime. I'm and I happy. think so. If we're, um, yeah. Can I okay. have your pen that actually works so I can read? Yeah. Right. So our top three, and if we go for a three tier cake, this is what we're gonna have: Sicilian lemon, chocolate. It, what was it? Dark chocolate with caramel and hazelnut. Caramel and hazelnut. Yeah. And coconut and lime. If we have a two tier cake. We'll scrap the coconut and lime, yeah? Sicilian lemon, dark chocolate, the caramel and hazelnut. Maybe. Um... If we're that concerned about it, then no question, we'll go for a three tier cake. True. Simple as that. <laughs> well, I feel incredibly sick now. Yes. But that was delicious. Um, go have a look at Anna Lewis Luxury Cakes. She does macarons and small yeah, cakes. So one of the things ones. that we were talking about is. Um, so my sister um, is gluten intolerant, so one of the things we're thinking about doing is getting her a really nice couple of cupcakes. No, uh, macarons. Is it macarons? Yes. I mean, yeah. we can, she can do cupcakes too, Yeah. but then she did suggest maybe getting her like a nice box of macarons. macarons. Yeah, because of, she was saying that the way that her like batch sizes worked. Would yeah, be to order, I think it was a minimum of 12 cupcakes. Yeah. It's probably the same with macarons. <laughs> Yeah. But, you know, we could at least do, like, she does wedding favours, like mm. macaron wedding favours. She does macaron wedding favours, so yeah. we could do that if we wanted to, or we could just have them, you know, as an extra little thing on, like, a dessert yeah, table exactly. or something. Have them up with the cake just as a side dish. Mm. I don't know. But, yeah, that was delicious. Really enjoyed that. That was good fun. Mm -hmm. Really liked the tea. So now I need to go to Portland Mason. Yeah. Shall we go when we know we're going to London in December? We'll probably go before then at some point. I would like to. I know. We'll Should we do a summer trip to London? Yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll take you to London with us. We'll do a summer trip in London, and then we'll go to Fortnum and Mason. We've got just over a year until our wedding, and it's becoming rather real now because we've booked it so far in advance because of COVID and everything. And yeah, we were like, we're... oh, we've got ages, we've got ages, and now it's like nearly a year away, and we're like. Oh my gosh, we actually need to do a lot of stuff. We've got a lot of the main stuff, don't we? We've got a band. Yeah. We have got a photographer. We've got a cake lady. We've got our rings. We've got. I haven't got my dress. That's probably the most like. Yeah, I haven't got my suit yet. Thing. Like, we need. But I think that's this summer. That's our summer plan, isn't it? Really? Yes. I'm mm -hmm. waiting for my mum to come over from Australia, before I go dress shopping. So. Which is soon, because they're going to come over soon. Yeah, hopefully, quite soon. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Fingers so, crossed. They haven't booked any flights yet, but yeah. Go check out Anna Lewis. Yeah, luxury uh, cakes. We're not sponsored by her, by the way. No. <laughs> just in case you think she was just lovely. She's an amazing. <laughs> and she's person. the whole reason we're doing this video. So yeah, go have a look at her Instagram. Doesn't even matter if you're getting married or not. Just like yeah, she does. She does celebrate. She does amazing. As well. Not even that. Just if you just want to look at some really great cakes. Yeah. Just have a look. I think we should put a little. She's yeah end thing of her page she has um, a very aesthetic instagram page if yeah. you get what i mean like you know how people have like just this beautiful aesthetic mm. that's what she's got yeah I, I very much enjoy looking at her page it was really nice to look through and uh, mm -hmm. yeah it uh, gave us a lot of inspiration as well what we wanted yeah definitely i pulled she asked for a mood board and i pulled a lot of um pictures from her Instagram mm. and other people's Instagrams and you know online in general Pinterest and things like that yeah um she does have a minimum spend with her if you're looking for cakes I believe it's 650 pounds and she does have a certain mileage um if you go beyond like a certain distance distance from her um location in Surrey 
have a look on her website. She's very transparent about all the costs and things like that. She's also really not pushy. So if you're yeah. filming and hiring or you're like have uncertain, have a consultation with her. Spend the time, have a order chat with a her box. And, uh, Even if you're paying for the like the thirty five pounds, I think that if you pay the thirty five pounds, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure she did say if you pay the thirty five pounds, yeah, and then you book, and then you book it after out. it comes off of your balance with her. So, but that is worth £35 to me. If you just want to have a nice afternoon tea, sit down, mm. you know, and you could definitely split them up into like four. Oh yeah. Because it's a lot of cake. Yeah, so, you could have a group of you. Yeah, like, have like your bridesmaids hundred. or your parents or someone sit down with you. Mm. It'd be really good. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you really liked it, please like and subscribe to us and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Yep. Cheers. Bye. Bye.